Hello everybody, Stephanie Young here. I'm 36 years old, very strong Christian believer, been playing video games most of my life, and I'm a survivor of several strokes that were brought on by this rare cerebral vascular disease called Moya Moya disease from the years of 2016 and 2019. I had a minor stroke in 2016 which I mainly lost my right hand which wasn't my dominant hand because I was always a weirdo a left-hander but I was also very creative I was an artist yeah my art was halfway decent I mean a lot of other artists uh, were not as good as I was but I was also not as good as a lot of artists I was kind of like mediocre kind of a mediocre artist but I also loved writing um, fiction fantasy and I was working on a I started a game project, which, uh, some of, uh, which I halted a, a lot of, um, the development of, like, uh, as far as making 3D models, because I stopped being able to in 2019 when I, when I had a series of massive strokes, where I not only lost my formerly dominant left hand, I mean, in 2016, when I lost my right hand, it was easy to to get over. It took just a few months of not only really intense uh, occupational therapy for my hand but also it was video gaming which really brought my right hand back 100% or almost 100%. It brought it back enough for it to become my new dominant hand because I can't really, I still can't do much with my left hand. I don't know when I'll be able to use my right my left hand how I used to it'll probably take years just like it'll take years for me to get my eyesight back because it also lost most of my vision and usually on Thursdays I make a, a video for my ongoing allegorical fantasy game playing project realms of Tokala which uh, most of the people abandoned it, thinking that I had abandoned it, I guess, in 2016. Because I had, um, I kind of stopped hanging out on the game modding community. I stopped, lost a lot of interest in games and modding games. But I was still modding games like, um, Fallout 4. I made some mods, I think, in 2016. That's also, I think, that's the year that uh, Skyrim Special Edition came out. But I did make a lot of uh, mods for Skyrim Special Edition. And for a while, I couldn't even get on the computer in 2019. So I, for a long time, had left the game modding community complete, completely. Yeah, most of our um, volunteer team for Realms of Takala left in around 2016. I was still working on it, like music and stuff, but I lost my voice. Most of my brain's logic and processing in 2019 and the series of massive strokes I had. I lost uh, my speech processing. I, I can't sing anymore. I used to be a kind of a singer. I used to be able to sing and compose music. I lost the ability to do both. Yeah, at least I don't think I sound like a robot anymore, but because I was I was talking like this when I first had the stroke, I just couldn't talk very well. My words really slurred because uh, but now I think I'm talking a lot better, and I can carry a tune at least. I think. I always try to find a song to sing to practice my singing voice. So. Lately, it's been a lot of Michael W. Smith songs. So, we've been singing a lot of those at church lately. And then, uh, yesterday at church, we sang This is the Air I Breathe. The song is called Breathe. It goes, This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence 
living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. And I, I'm desperate for you. But you know I'm 36 and I'm a very strong Christian believer and a stroke survivor and I use the um, title theme I created for Realms of Tokala so you can see what it looks like every video I make. This should be part 29 by the way because I did part 28 on Friday. So tomorrow is Tuesday and I'll do part 30 I guess in my Fable 3 restart for stroke recovery series and I think in this one I'm just gonna finish all those relationship quests that that I started for my hero queen because um, all those people um, hated her and and understone for some reason so let's try this I hope it's recording me I hope it's recording my voice and everything I mean, I have the uh, volume turned down pretty low on the actual game right now. I'm going to turn it up um, when I play the video so I can listen to the video and attempt to, for YouTube to hear, uh, yeah, attempt to add subtitles or captions on YouTube, the auto captioning, which hasn't been working lately. But uh, Facebook has been auto-captioning my videos that I post on my my to Project Tokala group page. Which, by the way, Tokala means fox in Native American names, I found out. So I, uh, I revolved the whole world around foxes. Made it similar to Chronicles of Narnia. The Aslan the Lion slash Jesus character being a fox named Tokis. T-O-K-I-S. And... And I made two different races for to help with another race, and, I, and my friends made up all the rest. And they're, if we ever get enough people to help us, I always say I want to, there to be six playable races, but we need people to who can make 3D models, make uh, more animations. We have a basic rig, but we don't have any facial rigs or anything yet, so we need some facial rigs. Yeah, I made some automatic rigs for the, uh, for the oh, bodies. Oh, yeah, let's... Hello, you ladyship. Welcome this, uh, to the sanctuary. No, I, 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 um... Prison management for beginners. Well, I didn't know about that quest. That sounds fun. So instead of um, doing all these relationship quests, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Yeah, let's go in, into the um, Raven Scar Keep interior. It's probably a boring quest, but uh, I'll do it anyway. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word. Spoken to me, and I, I'm desperate for you, and I, I'm lost without you. Yeah, let's just go on. I'm using my right hand mostly to man the left control stick. 
which I should probably just be going forward with my left my left hand and turning the right I don't know what happened the um yeah the uh, glowing trail now it seems to be leading outside of the building so I guess there's an alternate way to get inside the building I just keep kind of going back and forth. There's a. It's taking me down here for some reason. I don't know why it's taking me down there. There's a missing texture there for some reason. I don't know. There's a lot of glitches in this game. Yeah, prison management, I guess. We got to kill all the uh, prisoners that are rioting and stuff in there. Yeah, this is like a, I guess it's like a sewer or something. Yeah, I guess tomorrow we'll um, do, those, do those relationship quests that uh, started in Understone. Yes, people are trying to escape out of the sewers. People are escaping out of the sewers. Oh, it's this way. That's weird. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll use my Realms of Takala title theme I created years ago for the game game project and we gotta go in, into the uh, building through this way here our dogs are barking outside yeah buddy our, he's our pit bull and German shepherd mix he is a barker he, he uh, loves to defend his uh, property his territory but he loves some um, cats because we uh, raised him around our kittens we got our kittens about the same time we got him so we they kind of grew up together although the kittens never liked him he uh, he always tolerated them he's always been a really gentle dog but my uh, father-in-law's dog is out there. She is a mess. She's really spoiled. He'd never punish her for anything. She just gets away. She could get away with murder, I swear. That dog. And she's extremely territorial over food. Uh, she'll fight Buddy when, when she sees him near the food. No. Anyway, let's do this quest. This looks like it'll be a kind of a fun quest, maybe. I'm stuck in the door, I think. Your Majesty, let me give you a status update on the prison. We've accounted for all prisoners. Oh, the prison all management books. Final casualty tolls are being tabulated. I gotta collect missing the books. The has been inspected. Fine. With security breaches identified and repaired. Patrols have returned to normal with guard ships rotating every six hours. Thank you. Oh, well, this quest you gotta find a bunch of uh, missing room. books. This set of keys should give you access to all areas of the island. My house home. Uh, I'm gonna need those back <laughs> if it's all the same to you. Oh, he's giving me some keys so I can hunt around here. The building to find these missing books. I wish it would give me a glowing trail. So I can know exactly where to go to get these books. I 
probably in probably in these cells. Thought it would be in the cells, the prison cells here. There's a, a locked gate here, but I have the keys. I got the keys. Pick up. Let's pick up the book. Pathologist's Handbook, Volume Three: Conjugal Visits. Contrary to popular opinion, a conjugal visit is not when a teacher visits the prison. It's just, it's just a boring a quest. Conjugal visits do not actually involve verbs at all. Well, they do. Actually, they can involve a surprising number, depending on the disposition, creativity, gender, and quantity of prisoners involved. But none bears repeating here. Just use your imagination. But not too often, as this can be harmful. I'm thinking uh, you put the uh, prison management books up there when you find them. I thought that would be the case. There's another one. Here's another locked lock door. Maybe you gotta find them all first. I don't see anything in that, that room. some bed socks. There isn't anything interesting in this room. But there's there's something. So it looks like a book up there. Maybe uh see maybe there's something up there. There's something you can pick up. I just thought I saw thought I saw pick up something. Maybe I was just seeing the whistle and it looked uh, my mind saw this pick up. There's a stack of books over here. I was thinking it might be There's another uh, room. There's a prisoner in there. There's a sink. Yeah, there's a sink Not for the prisoner. I'm surprised the prisoners haven't taken all the books. This, this will be the first of many letters I promised you. Writing to you shall be the one. 
one bit of solace I find in this awful place. No. I shall compose a message to you each day. Why, why is the How girlfriend I always named Lilith? My desire to be with you again is of pain and that, um, greater than any misery inflicted by this prison. Why I... It's just occurred to me. The Albion Secret Prison Gazette, issue number 16. Big news! As a cost-saving measure, instead of receiving hot gruel every other day, prisoners will now have it every three days. Come on. Let's go up, up the stairs and see if there's anything up the stairs. Edith's cousin, back in Brightwall, is pregnant with her first baby. At least she might be. Edith had a dream about it. Cummings and going. Well, that guy is a baby. Have been brought in, and some that were already here. The cell is occupied. Answer to last week's word scramble puzzle. This is the start. Right, congratulations to Nick, who was the first one to get it correct. Keep trying to find the Yeah, keep trying my best to find the Yeah, there's a person in that one. I haven't been able to find any more. Dear Anna, I am writing this note as a heartfelt apology. I want to tell you how badly I feel about the way things happen between us. This may that sound chick strange. sounds like um Sounds like Rose. And she sounds like Rose. This letter of apology as a symbol of my genuine regret and Which was the hero of um Fable Two's sister. And I hope you can find it in your heart. This person um, I am sorry, I punched has a gift for my yours, Rachel. For my um queen here. I feel like I should look for a guide for um, for all the uh, book locations. My queen, at your service, my queen. These are all just empty cells. The cell is occupied. Ready to serve, Your Majesty. Well, this one has like a the secret passageway in it looks like if anyone should find this know that escape is possible we've made it this far and so could you which i guess you would have if you're reading this i will leave word further on but i hope it will help fellow escapees I'm thinking of maybe, uh, maybe this leads to some, some more books. I feel like if I keep going down around here, well, the, uh, dog bark. Yeah, he's barking, he so. Yeah, Rex. My, my heroes, all Rex. He's barking like he's found something. I'm thinking down here, like way down here. There might be a. Since I've got all the keys 
There's a book. The Knowledgeist's Handbook, Volume 2. Health and Hygiene. Health and hygiene. Anytime human beings live together en masse in cramped quarters, hygiene quickly becomes a pressing concern. There's a dig spot. Maybe there's a, the another book in the dig spot. The fact is that most prisons prioritize security and order over prison and comfort, which is all well and good. But in the summer, it can be quite intolerable, depending on climate. Prisoners should be given the opportunity to bathe and launder their garments regularly. Anything under once every three months and you As if she needed any treasure. more gold by right now. There is a treasure chest over here. But I doubt it has anything we need. I doubt, I doubt there will be like a book in here. Probably just like a some costume or something. Prisoner's outfit or something. Old Kingdom back tattoo. Here's another passage this way. I thought that was the way I went through. So it seems like we're just gonna have to tunnel around the, the sewers of the uh, Raven Scar Keep. Try to find these books. I can't think I saw some dig spots. Dig spot dig. Some down here. There's another I letter. Into the boiler room and started in on the wall, working quietly. So far, Roger's plan has worked perfectly. Freedom is near at hand. Yeah, this is gonna take a while to find all these books. There's a locked, locked gate here that I've already opened. I've already been here though. I thought it was in there already. Yeah, I've been in there. What's up here though? Is that the place where I already was? Let's vault down here. Because I don't remember a place where you had to vault. What, what if you go right? I wonder what's to the right. To the left is uh, the exit it looks like. The exit. I thought the exit. Uh, maybe there's another way you can um, go down. Get in there. It says search the whole island for all the missing books.
I haven't found any more books yet. I found two. I saw something in my uh... Yeah, see that? That turned safety off. Let's um, go in here. So I think that's where I just come out of. service. Well, maybe I can enter one of those uh, towers up there. Sorry, my nose is itching. I'm thinking my nose might, might be running a little bit. My lady. Well, they gave me some keys thinking they might let me get into all these towers and stuff. These uh, guard stations and whatnot. never looked up at the top of the Raven Scar Keep. I think I might have. I'm gonna I thought I saw a book. Every soul swears an allegiance to the crown. I have most of my life until I could do so no longer. King Logan has broken the unspoken contract with his people. He has brought nothing but misery upon Albion. And by what right? Being the son of a hero? What gave the old hero the right to start this monarchy? If it is the ability to cast Here's another spells, book. how could it turn our street magicians and jugglers into royalty? of holding competitions between the prisoners. He said we should have them stripped down to their pants and run around a sort of course we could devise for our entertainment. I can't put my finger on it, but something tells me it's a bad idea. Revolutionary idea. Don't you have somewhere 
Come on, Archer, come on. Well, that one's occupied. I think I, I think I already gotten into all the ones that were not occupied. But all I'm seeing are like letters. By Chester Phelps. Chapter one. The gap. The sun hung. Anyway, I'm so thankful to my husband John. He uh, bought me that DLC I've been wanting forever. This isn't that DLC. This is another one that actually was free. Yeah, the Traders Keep. It comes free with the. Uh, the Game Pass version of the Fable, Fable 3. The thing I like about uh, the DLCs in Fable 3 is they don't have all the flit switches and stuff that I can't really do because of lack of the mobility and everything. Dear Anna, I am writing this note as a heartfelt apology. This, uh, this woman's voice sounds a lot like Rose. This may seem strange, but by a stroke of luck, my Did Rose end up in here? And she recommended I write you this letter of apology as a symbol of my genuine heart and sincere heart that we can learn from this. I am very sorry I stabbed you with that sharp and wooden spoon. And, and this one, for some reason, heart, this one won't open. Which again, I am sorry I pumped you. To forgive me, yours, Rachel. Because it's occupied. Can't open the doors. They're occupied. You've probably heard by now. 2019 had this series of massive strokes, which uh, took not only my brain's logic and processing, my formerly dominant left hand, but also took uh, over 60% of the vision, in both my eyes. Mainly on the, uh, mainly on the left side and the bottom. I think the only uh, view viewing angle I have is uh, At your the only viewing plane I have is. There's got to be some more. Yeah, I've already read all these letters. I hereby swear that should I ever manage to secure release from this accursed place, I will never again waste a single instant of my life. Never take a single moment for granted. Well, that's sad. If I should leave this place, these people miss their their lives, Kiss my their wife families, and, I love her, and hold my children tight. Then I will take. Help old Mrs. Purchase make her tumble down the fence and pick up rubbish around the neighborhood. I will learn a foreign language and take dance lessons. I will travel and have new experiences and learn. Then he wants to assassinate. Who didn't want to assassinate uh, King Imagine Logan? King Logan was a tyrant. I, I was just thinking of them. The story in the Bible of a. A hood, uh, who is a left-hander, like I used to be, an assassin, who killed this tyrant. He assassinated a, an evil tyrant named Eglin. King Eglin, the Moab, the Moabite king. He uh put all the, the Hebrew people in slavery. Which is why Ahud wanted to assassinate him so badly. Greetings, ma'am. For Queen and Country. At your service. I'm trying to find where um uh, where you put all the uh the books. Those books. This looks like another room. Well, I've got all the keys, so. I 
thinking if I got all the keys. Summon creatures potion. That's random. Combine flour, sugar, eggs, and vanilla extracts in a large mixing bowl and beat thoroughly. If these ingredients cannot be obtained, which is highly likely. The sanctuary shop has some new bits and I just want to see a glowing trail. Because I want to see where you put all the books that you found. I think, where do you put all the books that you found already? Your Majesty? I thought I saw a thing to open the door, but it was a, just a thing of, to call the dog. I wonder if all the books are inside the building, or maybe there's some outside like here around here maybe there's some you can dive for you can dive in the diving spot for There's a dive spot now, speaking of which. Let's see what we can find. It's just a dweller men's bandana, that's random. It's not anything I need. But maybe it's stuff that I can pawn at some point eventually. Yeah, let's just keep going. I haven't found all the books. And I have no idea where to place them when I, once I found them. I could have sworn I saw a, an area to put all the books that you found. I'm trying to find that uh, place I had found that looked like uh, textures were all missing from it. I was trying to find a uh, place where I could uh, I thought I saw a, a um, treasure chest and stuff down there. There is a treasure chest down there. Not going to be anything interesting or exciting. A thousand gold. I'm going to have over a million gold. Yeah, she has over a million gold now. There's a dig spot. 
And the dig spots are never anything good. Usually it's just a potion or something. Or a bag of gold. But she uh, tried to dig up the dig spot and she couldn't find anything. These are all like, just empty. Uh, they're all empty tombs. Well, no, I could have sworn that I saw a place to put all the books. Here's a locked, locked door I, I have. Uh, the dog the dog instead of uh, the uh, mop door well here's a door you can actually get into it has another uh, something you can pick up I saw I saw a thing that said pick up yeah that's another book. Anologist's Handbook, Volume 5, Prison Governance. In the event that a correctional facility's commanding officer is killed or incapacitated, authority for the facility should be transferred to the next highest ranking officer. For example, a captain, lieutenant or second lieutenant. In the absence of an available officer, authority then transfers to the highest ranked enlisted man. In descending order as follows. Staff Sergeant, Sergeant, Corporal, Lance Corporal, Private. I saw something moving over there. Should there be no enlisted men able to fulfill the duties of command, authority hereafter transfers to prison staff, the composition of which may vary between institutions, as follows. Surgeon, Doctor, Nurse, Cook, Janitor, Ramsky. If none of these are available, the prisoner likely has larger problems than determining who is in command. Just been hoping to find like a way into a tower or something. Didn't I already jump off here before? Yes, I did. There's a I think I went in that other sewer, not this one though. Dig spot. Dig spots are never any good. He's way up there. That might actually be valuable. Rare jet.
Here's another um, entrance to the, uh, the keep. Hoping to find another locked door to get through. Doesn't seem like there's any way to get over this rubble heat over here. There's something down here. Yeah, this is the maximum security part where you got the people. This door is locked too. But I've got all I should have all the keys to, to get it. I thought I had all the keys. But apparently I don't. Because there's still some doors you can't get into. It just says door is locked. Maybe it's a... Maybe that's where they keep all the worst people in. The worst, most insane criminals. Maybe she'll never be able to get in there. They even have some coffins in here. That looks like a place to put some books down. I thought it was. Where do you put the books once you get them all? Does anybody know? It's not like anyone can tell me. So I think you put them up here. This looks like a place where you put books down. But I don't see them. I don't see. I just see books on them already. I don't actually see where you can put the books down. Maybe some of these books are books you can get. Yeah, let's uh, give them all the books that I found. Ah, you found the first book. I'm sure it will give me loads of ideas. Great, you found another book. Can't wait to read it. Another book. Great stuff. I'll read this as soon as my shift's over.
there's still some books that I, that I need to find. Okay, there's one more book that I need to find. This one right here. Yeah, I found three of, uh, found three of, uh, five. So there's, I think I need uh, two more. Any books you find, just bring them back to me and I'll review them. There's one. There's one. Chronologist's right. Handbook, Volume 1. Prison Security. Security is the primary responsibility of the commanding officer assigned to any correctional facility. It is of such paramount importance that it must supersede all other priorities. The only conceivable exception to this inviolable rule is in cases where a member of prison staff is in mortal peril. For example, if prisoners in the cause of an escape attempt have taken a staff member hostage. In such a case, it is entirely permissible to temporarily reduce security, as in response to a hostage taker's express demand, with full intention of restoring full security as soon as possible. Only once security is restored, should the commanding officer attempt to neutralize or recapture the inmate or inmates responsible for the lapse. This the is such boring this stuff. Again, a case where a staff member's life is threatened. Basically, any time they threaten a member of staff, give them what they want, and then try to fix things later as best you can. I keep hoping for a treasure chest to actually have a book in it. But it's just a whole bunch of uh, clothes and crap that I don't need. And I keep thinking I see books, but it's just like a shelf or something. You won't see me getting out of that. Book over here. Now I know what's in it. Put stuff in a pot with water and boil until hot. What the hell are you even making? Seems like we ought to wear hair nets as we're around food and that. Just a jumble of uh, doors and uh, passageways. I can't see heads for from tails around here. I can't see heads from tails around here.
really have no idea where I'm going. This looks like a storage room. Maybe there will be a book to pick up in here. I feel like um, where we're supposed to go is at the top level of the building. I think it's that the yeah, that's guy. Fantastic, another book. Look forward to reading this one. So there's just one more book I think to get. There's this one right. Yeah, this one right here. We got all except one at least. Yeah, let's just go on this rigorous search for this final book. I'm thinking maybe uh, we need to go down downstairs or something. Maybe let's try going downstairs. Are we on the, the bottom floor already? Maybe we need to go upstairs then. And search up here. These are all occupied it looks like. I hereby swear that should I ever manage to secure release from this accursed place, I will never again waste a single instant of my life. Never take a single moment for granted. If I should leave this place, I shall go directly home. Kiss my wife and tell her I love her, and hold my children tight. Then I will take to the garden, help old Mrs. Pritchard. That all these are occupied. And pick up rubbish around the neighborhood. I will learn a foreign language and take dance lessons. I will travel and have new experiences and learn. Then I will assassinate King Logan. Then I'm coming back here, massacring every guard I find and burning his place to the ground. I'm getting Never a waste of your two through the bars. Well, At your service, my queen. I wish you could allure these In people the out. Days, prisoners followed a code. Well, I, I don't know if they did. I wasn't around. I like Frank the prison so. guard. It's just boring milling around the prison.
can't go to sleep. Oh, wait. They sleep in shifts. Damn. It's just one of those days, you know, when you wish you could look at my heart. No, there's the one that leads down. Down into the, the uh, sewer. Maybe there's one that I've never gotten down here, the sewer area. There might be one I missed. See if there's anything over here. try to calm down because I've been easily getting a panic anxiety attacks and they've even evolved into seizures and the uh, seizure med anti-seizure medicine I take actually makes it worse I mean I don't have the actual full seizures but I still feel anxiety I still feel the uh, depression and stuff. It's not very comfortable at all. or something on that box. dog he just found a dig spot which is never anything good never anything good ever I'd be actually really surprised if he actually found the book that I'm looking for I'd be shocked and surprised if he actually found the book I see a skull on a um, gone in here and found the book but I didn't yeah see there's another side to that maybe if you go around here you can find another way to get there
This looks like a boiler room of some sort. Is that a book I saw on the ground there? No, I don't, maybe not. I don't think so. As much as I hope for there to be. There's, we only need one more book, so. Yeah, I just see it. One little letter. He made it into the boiler room and started in on the wall, working quietly. So far, Roger's plan has worked perfectly. Freedom is near at hand. I wish you could, uh, there's a way to vault over some of this junk in here. What happens if we go there here? Trying to find the way to get past that uh, that door, like on the other side of the door, but I couldn't. Yeah, th that door right there. How do you get uh, over there? I don't know. Now I'm probably gonna have to, to pause go to the bathroom. I'm about to give up on this quest. I am about to give up. if you can break down some boulders or something to get to where you need to go.
I keep on finding dead ends. Maybe uh, you can turn this way to the right. I don't think I've gone this way yet. This vault down here. See? This might have been the way I was going before and I thought I saw the uh... book to pick up. Yeah, this is a way that's on the other side of all that rubble. That's not a book though. Maybe on the other side of this here, there's a book or something. Excuse me. There's this door that's locked but you can't get in, get in. Which just doesn't make sense to me because there shouldn't be any uh, door that she can't open by now. Is that a book? I thought that was a book. This is that torture chamber. Why there would be a book in the torture chamber, I don't know. Here there's that door that you can't get in because it's, it's locked. Is there a door on the other side that's unlocked?
There just seem to be several wings of this, uh, of this, uh, building. It's like a spider shape or something. There's like a There's a book right there. Maybe she has to actually look at it. See a bedpan. Somebody's asleep. hear people throwing up and I heard somebody knocking on the door. You did it. Maybe you have to somehow get into the room that's already occupied. Your Majesty. Maybe a, you a tunnel through a door in one of these that's open. You tunnel to the other other side. Maybe there's a secret passage, the, the one that's occupied.
Maybe this one has a secret passageway to the one that's occupied. Of Rose, myself so. is a licensed therapist, and she recommended I write you this letter of apology as a symbol of my genuine regret and sincere hope that we can learn from this. I am very sorry I stabbed you with that sharpened wooden spoon, and I hope you can find it in your heart, which again, I am sorry I pumped you to forgive me. Yours, Rachel. We need prisons and prisons oh, need guards. Does she sound like Rose? Madam? Milady? Milady? Go for a second, I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey guys! Yeah, I've been recording for a long time. I'm gonna keep looking for these missing books. And see if I'll let's click here to click or tap to continue playing. I guess people are playing it on a um, tablet. They would have to tap. Maybe you can talk to the, the guy there. To get him to come out. Prisoner just gave her a gift. Industrious buggers do find clever ways to fill the time. Reading, exercise, planning and understanding. I haven't actually got any training in this, but this may require a specialist, a real doctor even. 
I think that's the sick bay. All the sick people in it. At your orders, Mom. At your orders, Mom. This is the most torturously long, boring quest I've ever seen. I've ever done in this game, I think. You can't open any of these. You can't open the really um, high guard guarded cells. Somehow that door is open. Don't know how. Oh yeah, maybe a... Is that a flat switch up there? That's a... Maybe there's a flit switch somewhere you gotta get. be some some way to get that door open. Maybe a flip switch in this room. Maybe there's a flit switch uh, down this hallway. That looks like a book, but... There was a flit switch somewhere somewhere around here. I could have sworn. But this that's just a light fixture.
There doesn't seem to be any actual flip switches anywhere. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to be getting done with this quest today. if there's anything I can do. looks like a split switch up there. That's the, I think the infirmary. What's the name of the quest again? There are new items available in the prison management for beginners. Now I'm gonna have to look up where the last book is. Anyway, guys. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you. Bye.